My name is Janice and I'm with Craftastic DIYs in case you're new. If you are, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. Today I have some really great Christmas DIYs I want to share with you. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm getting close to 2,000 subscribers and I think we can do it. Uh, my YouTube channel is growing and I'm so thankful and happy uh, for all, all the subscribers that supported my channel. And um, so anyway, let's get into the crafts. So for this first DIY, I'm taking these earmuffs that I got from Dollar Tree, these rolling little eyes I got from Michaels in the round wood piece from Dollar Tree, the hat, and the little mittens from Dollar Tree. I won't be using the scarf. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the wood round and start painting with the white Waverly chalk paint. So I'm gonna take the tags off the hat and I'm gonna take some of this polyfill um, that I got from Walmart and I'm going to be putting just a little bit inside the hat so it's not too flimsy. So now I'm taking the hat and I'm trying to position how I want the hat to lay on top of the wood round and I'm trying to get a feel for it because I have to make enough room for the little eyes. Now I'm taking the eyes out of the package and I'm going to place them down, uh, get an idea where I want to put them. Um, these eyes are so cute with the long eyelashes. Now I use my Cricut to create a little nose and mouth and I placed it down, not sure what happened to the footage. Um, now I'm going to take the earmuffs and I'm going to take them apart because I can't uh, fit it on the little wood round. So I'm just going to take that metal piece out. Now I have a position to where I want them. I'm taking the hot glue gun and just gluing them down. This is such a cute idea for your kids. If you want to do something with your children, you can make these and actually put their names on it. Um, you can make a little girl one, a little boy one. They're adorable. Now I'm taking the little gloves and I'm going to position them like she's holding her face, like she's cold. And I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue and glue them down. Because the mouth's so little, the ones that I created on Cricut, I'm just going to put a little line on the sides uh, to make the mouth a little bit bigger. Now I have the mittens down where I want them. I'm just going to place a little bit of hot glue and then turn it over and then place some hot glue in the back so everything stays secure. And this is what it looks like. How cute is this? It's adorable. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. We have our ups and downs, but when there's love is all Next DIY. I took this Walmart bag, this really pretty Santa Claus bag, and I went to Five Below and I picked up two canvases for $5. And the size of the canvas is a 16 by 20, in case you're interested. They are definitely worth it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tags off the bag first and then I'm going to uh, start cutting it. But before I can cut it, I'm going to place the canvas on top of it and trace it to get an idea of how much I have to cut. I'm just using a white marker and just going along the edges of the canvas. Now I'm just taking my scissors and cutting along the edges that I traced out, so this way it'll fit on the canvas. This is so quick and easy and it comes out fabulous. So I'm just taking my hot glue gun and I'm gonna place a little bit of glue on the canvas and apply the bag down. So 
So I'm going to be using some really pretty ribbon that I got from a mixture of Michaels and Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to take uh, the red one first and create a larger bow and then do the same process with the other two and place them all on top of each other. Now that I have my ribbon all cut to size, now I'm going to bring out the canvas and start applying the bows on the corner of the so canvas. So right now I'm just making this cute red, red bow. So Sorry, it's out of uh, view. I had it uh, aimed down and forgot to bring it up, but I'm just creating a nice little bow for the uh, with the red ribbon and then um, putting the other two on top of it. And you will see it in a minute. So now I have my bows uh, together and I'm just going to take some jute twine and wrap that around and tie it off. So now I'm trying to figure out where I want to place it. Um, I do end up placing it on the corner because I didn't want to block the truck or Santa and I think the perfect spot was the left hand corner. So now I'm taking my hot glue gun and just placing a little bit of hot glue and then place the bowl on top. I think this came out fabulous. It looks high end and nobody would know it's a Walmart bag. <laughs> So I'm just fluffing up the ribbon and then I'm going to take the scissors and just cut the ends because I don't want them hanging over the truck and um, Santa. And this is how it turned out. I think it's so adorable. It's so festive, so Christmassy, and no one knows the difference that you got this bag from Walmart. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, for this DIY, I got the snowballs from Dollar Tree, and I got the season greeting card from Dollar Tree as well, and the little uh, sign I got from Target Dollar Spot. Now I'm going to use these two paints. One, one is red apple, and one is the um, black chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to mix them together. I'm mixing them together because I want a darker type of red. I don't want a bright red. So I'm taking the color that I mixed together. I'm just going to paint this whole entire sign. So now the sign is dry. Now I'm going to take the uh, words that I created on my Cricut design space. So the word is snowballs. And then the next one I'm going to lay down is Santa's Lane and Winterland. So I'm going to create some uh, icicles and some snow around the sign. I'm going to take my glue gun and just do like a zigzag sign, zigzag lines all around it. I'm going to paint the hot glue that I put on the sign with the Waverly chalk paint in white. So now I'm going to take these little mittens off the greeting card and I'm going to place them on the sign. I don't need any hot glue because it has like, for some reason, some sticky stuff in the back. So I'm just going to place them one on each end. Now I'm going to take some of this Dollar Tree string that I got and I'm going to hot glue a little piece underneath the mittens. And this is what it looks like so far. Now I got to do the other side and add the string to the mittens. Now I'm going to take this little bucket that I got from Dollar Tree that was previously painted black and I use my Cricut and I'm going to apply the word snowball. So now I'm going to take some flora foam and place a little hot glue, place it inside the bucket 
and then I'm going to place the sign right inside it and then put a little hot glue to make sure that it stays securely inside. I'm going to take some of this microfiber fabric that I got from Dollar Tree in the auto department. I'm just going to place it inside just to hide the chlorophyll. So now I'm taking the sign and I'm placing it inside the chlorophyll. I'm going to top it off with a little bit of hot glue. Now I'm going to be placing the snowballs inside. I'm taking three of the big ones first, placing them all around, and then I'm going to grab the smaller ones and place them in front. How cute is this? Look how adorable this came out. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy. But now this year is twice as special because I'm home. This is DIY, I took this Dollar Tree hat, ornament hat, and the Dollar Tree glue, Dollar Tree glass jar, and the wood that it was previously painted black, and the Dollar General ribbon. So I'm going to be using the Waverly white chalk paint and a little bit of the white glue from Dollar Tree, and these two paper plates. So I'm going to put a little bit of the white Waverly chalk paint in there with some of the glue. My Waverly chalk paint is really kind of low and I had to actually add a little water to it. Added the glue, I'm just uh, mixing it up a little bit because the actual paint was kind of thick. And then you just swirl it around and you get it to uh, cover uh, the entire globe and then you just tip it upside down. So now I place it upside down on the plate to dry. Now I'm working on the other one the same exact way. Now I place them both on the plate and I'm going to let them dry for a couple hours. So everything's dry, I'm going to put everything together and just going to put a little glue at the bottom of the wood base and place the glass jar on top. Now I'm placing a little glue around the rim of the globe and then place it back inside where it fits nice and snug. I'm placing a little hot glue on the outside rim. So I'm placing down the eyes that I created on my Cricut. Now I'm placing down the carrot nose that I created on my Cricut as well. I also placed down the mouth and now I'm moving on to the buttons. I got these from Dollar Tree and I placed two little black buttons in front. So I'm using Dollar General uh, ribbon that I cut a piece out of and I'm going to create a little scarf for the snowman. I'm just wrapping it around and I'm going to put it in a knot and then crisscross it. And so I'm just cutting little strips at the end of his scarf, well, to make it look like a scarf. Um, it did frail a lot, so I had to cut some of the pieces out. These little snowmen are so adorable. They're so cute. I see these in stores all the time. So I'm just placing a little glue to hold the scarf in place. Now I'm taking the Dollar Tree uh, hat ornament and I'm going to place a little glue on top and place the hat right above his little head. I've seen some people do um, a similar uh, 
snowman, but they use the frost, frosted, frosty glass spray or something, which you could put lights inside, which it's really pretty. I didn't have any, so I wanted to put lights inside, but I don't think you can see it. So I got this pretty white ribbon from Walmart, and I'm just going to hot glue to the base of the snowman. It's adorable. I love it. And this is the end result. I hope you guys like it. In this DIY, I'm taking this Christmas felt that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm not going to be using that paper. I got this wood piece from Hobby Lobby on clearance. And I'm going to be using these cute little things that look like presents from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to be using truffle paint and I'm going to be using the white paint from Apple Barrel. I'm also going to be using a few jingle blocks and I'm going to paint the one jingle block that's going to be the tree base uh, with the truffle paint. So I'm using the white paint that I'm going to paint this little wood star that I got from Dollar Tree. It's going to be the star for the top of the tree. Now I'm going to be using some Mod Podge. I'm going to apply a little bit on the star and then I'm going to sprinkle some of the gray glitter. I'm also using a little bit of the white glitter and just putting a little bit on top. So I'm using the jingle blocks to raise up the, the tree um, a little higher than it would normally be. It's almost like 3D dimensional. So now I'm just taking my hot glue gun and just gluing down the jingle blocks in place. So this way I know where to lay the actual tree. Now I'm going to be using these little ornament uh, presents. They look like little fake presents. They're so cute. Just going to put a little tiny jingle blocks, one of the little square ones, and just hot glue it down. And then I'm going to place the present right on top. And um, I use, I think I placed down four, four little presents. Okay, so now I'm just going to add the little star to the tree, placing a little glue and attaching it to the top. Now I'm attaching a few little uh, fake lights that I got from Walmart. They're like little bulbs, but they don't light. And I'm just hot gluing a few around the tree. The tree has like little holes, like little circle holes around. And that's where I'm placing the bulbs right in there. It's almost like it was made for it. Now I'm using some Dollar Tree uh, letters and I'm going to paint it with the engine red paint. Now I'm going to be using this Kelly Green by Apple Barrel and I'm going to create like little dots all around the words. I'm using the back end of my paintbrush and just applying a few dots here and there. So now I'm going to place the words at the top of the sign and I'm just taking my hot glue gun and just figuring out where I want to place them. Um, I think it's really came out really cute. How cute is this? It's adorable and we're not finished yet. So now I figured I wanted to decorate the tree. I'm taking these Dollar Tree white beads and I'm just going to string like two strands across the tree. I did use some Dollar Tree string uh, beforehand. I'm not sure what happened to the footage, but it is in there. You'll see it. Now I'm taking some Mod Podge and I'm going to apply a little bit on the tree ends and a little bit here and there just to apply some of the fake snow and that'll top it off.
look how nice this came out. It looks like something you would buy at Hobby Lobby. It came out so beautiful. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach with our free. Okay, for this DIY, I took this Dollar Tree frame and the Dollar Tree Christmas trees and I'm using my chalk contour, using the Christmas tree. First thing I'm going to do is I need to paint it because there was words on it. I used the sandpaper to remove the words. Now I'm just going to apply one coat of the Waverly chalk paint. I didn't like the fact that the frame was black. So I'm going to use the white Waverly chalk paint in white. So now everything's dry. I'm going to take my chalk couture and start applying the colors. The first one I'm going to be using is the silver one. And I'm going to apply that to the middle tree. This paste is so easy to use. You just apply it and you scrape it off. And it's so, the, the results are so beautiful. Now I'm going to be using the paste in the metal color and I'm going to apply it to the, the next tree. So now I'm going to take this pesto color and I'm going to uh, use it on the last tree. I wasn't too happy with this color after I applied it. I um, kind of wished I used a different color. Um, I'll know next time not to use it. I don't really care too much for this color. So now I'm going to be using this candy apple paste on the Merry Christmas words. Um, this color is very pretty and um, it's definitely candy apple red. So now I'm going to uh, reveal what it looks like and I think it came out pretty cute. Now I'm going to be taking these Dollar Tree little silver Christmas trees and I'm just going to hot glue um, about four of them at the bottom and then I place a white one right in the middle. Okay, so now I'm going to start decorating the top. I'm taking this pretty silver ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby, I believe it was, and or it could have been Dollar Tree. I'm just going to take a little piece of it and just going to apply a little glue and place it down. And then I cut a, a what is it, a Dollar Tree, those green branches that go on the Christmas trees. I just cut a little piece of it. Now I'm taking one of Dollar Tree's green ribbon, just making a small little bow. I'm going to hot glue that to the top as well. Then I'm going to place the two uh, tree Christmas tree um, greenery on the sides. If that makes sense. So now I'm going to take this red points that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place it right in the middle. So now I'm just trimming the ribbon, giving it a nice angle, and that should do it. I think this came out really pretty. And this is how it turned out. For this DIY, I'm taking this Dollar Tree wood house. It was previously painted, so I'm just going to go over it with this black chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree and just place one quick coat. I do paint the back as well. Now that it's dry, I use my Cricut to create the word Merry Christmas, and I'm going to apply the word Merry first. Now I'm just placing down the word Mary on the little house. And this is what it looks like with the word Mary. So now I'm placing down the word Christmas. 
This little wood house is so adorable. For a dollar, a dollar tree, you can do so much to it. How cute is that? I love the black and white color contrast. Now I'm using this Dollar General ribbon that I uh, cut the wired edges off and I'm just going to fold it and hot glue it because it's just too wide for the little house. And then I'm going to place it on the house with a little bit of hot glue. Just folding the ribbon in half with a little bit of hot glue to make it a little bit smaller. So now I'm going to be placing the ribbon on the house making sure it's straight and then I'm going to start placing some hot glue this is so adorable look how cute it looks already now I'm gonna decorate it and I'm going to take some of this jute twine and I'm going to start wrapping around quite a few times and then hot glue the back Now I'm taking these little gold bells that I got from Dollar Tree. I put three on a little piece of jute twine. I'm just gonna hot glue it to the side of the house. And then I'm going to take a little jute twine and make a bow and place that right over. This came out so adorable. You can place this in a tiered tray or you can place it simply anywhere you would like. And this is the final results. Okay, this is the last DIY. I took this craft paper from Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree wood sign, and the Dollar Tree plaque. And I created on my Cricut Merry Christmas. I'm going to be using the black chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree. <clears throat> and I'm going to paint the plaque first, and then I'm going to paint the wood sign. Now I'm starting to paint the outside of the trim of the little wood sign. I only use one coat to paint this. This chalkboard paint really does a great job of covering anything you paint with it. Now everything's dry. I'm going to take the craft paper and I'm going to put it over the top and kind of like trace it, get an idea because the back doesn't come apart, it makes it difficult. So I'm just going to place it on top and just draw a little square and then cut it out. Now I'm putting some hot glue inside and I'm going to place the craft paper right on top. Now I'm taking a little square piece and I'm going to apply the uh, Cricut words that I created and just put that right on top. The one word is Mary and the next one will be Christmas. So now I'm playing down the word Christmas. This is another cute sign all bought from Dollar Tree. You can turn them into something really amazing. Now I'm going to place the square piece inside and just place a little bit of glue. So I wanted to take some embellishments and um, I got this from Dollar Tree, the little bells, it's like a wrist bell, and the little snowflakes. So I'm just going to place one little snowflake in front and then I'm going to hot glue the bells on top and it really turned out cute. These bells were a perfect size. They match perfectly the width and everything. So now I'm just hot gluing them down and then I'm going to cut the corners that are overlapping. Look how cute it turned out. It's adorable. Now I'm just cutting off the corners and that'll be it. This came out really better than I 
ever would imagine. Um, Dollar Tree products, you could turn things into something amazing. It's just unbelievable what you can do with these products. This is the end result. Simply adorable. Well, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really would appreciate it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you. Bye-bye.